So today we had our last look at OTAs, this being the fifth out of six practices. The sixth one was already held by the time this video was made. So that's that and OTAs are in the books, but we're gonna look at mini camp, mandatory upcoming and get into training camp as it's on the slate after that. But man, um, a lot to recap here, but the defense over the offense today. What's up, it's your boy Centron, coming back at you with another analysis video to get you not, that's my real name. Eagles OTA practice notes, interceptions galore. So people getting picked off. Didn't, want, didn't matter if you were first team, second or third, you were getting that work by way of DB. All right, let's look at um, the four interceptions and uh, all the other notes here. So um, the guys that weren't here, James Bradbury, CJ Gardner Johnson, Lane Johnson, Darius Slay, Devonta Smith, and Josh Sweat. And um, Bradbury, Johnson, Smith, and Sweat uh, weren't here last week as well. In attendance, you know, uh, guys that were in attendance today that weren't last week, Jake Elliott, Kiwi Ringo, CJ Uzoma, uh, being amongst them. So glad those guys were in. And uh, let's take a look at the first and second teams on offense and defense. So we got Jalen Hurts, Saquon Barkley, AJ Brown, Paris Campbell. We'll talk about him extensively today. Joseph Ngata, Dallas Goddard, Jordan Marlotta, Landon Dickerson, Cam Jurgens, Tyler Steen, and Mikhail Becton. So we see uh, Becton getting that uh, start once again, start because Lane Johnson isn't out there. But Dallas Steen being uh, labeled as the first team guy. And then Kenny Pickett on the second team. Um, Tyrion Price, Dave, Davis Price. Don't look to read too much into that. Sharing the stats with Will uh, Shipley, Johnny Wilson, um, John Ross, Brenton Covey, CJ Uzoma, Fred Johnson, Darren Kenner, Brett Toth, Matt Hennessy, and I'm not even going to try it. I had to see um, as the backup right tackle. So, um, again, not too much to read into a lot of this because there's still additions to be made and see how guys, you know, uh, grade out over the course of the summer. But these are, uh, I mean, it's interesting to see. Um, and it'll be more telling next week during the mini camp, you know, see guys three days in a row um, where they slot out. Our defense, uh, Brandon Graham, Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Bryce Huff, Zach Klein, and Kobe Dean. We'll get into more of that later. Devin White, Isaiah Rogers, Reed Blankenship, Avante Maddox, Keely Ringo, and Tyler Hall. Um, I mean, yeah, it is a bit surprising to see him there because, I mean, you know, he just joined. But Avante Maddox being a safety, most likely he's bumping him there. He probably will be on the second team and maybe at worst sharing snaps with Cooper DeJean. All right, um, on the second team. Terrell Lewis, Marlon Tuilotu, so I, he's an often forgot guy, Terrell Lewis, uh, Milton Williams, Julian Okwara, but I do like those guys backing up, um, but we'll see where, where they are able to make the roster. I think it comes between um, one of the two of them. Oren Burks, Ben Van Sumeren, Quinion Mitchell, Tristan McCollum, Makai Gardner, Eli Ricks, Cooper J. And I will say that Makai Gardner, I've heard about him looking decent at safety, so He's probably switched over from being that big corner to that safety, more of a more natural fit, because he actually did get uh, regular season game time at safety last year in a pinch, but it does count. And interesting to see Eli Ricks there. Um, but most likely with the starters there, he would be maybe bumped. But anyways, all right. Um, Zach Bond, Jacoby Dean, and, and, uh, and Devin White. So Devin was getting the starts next to either guy, but Zach Bond and Jacoby were splitting. It's encouraging to see him, you know, ramping up. He's getting more, uh, getting more reps, and I think that's just a precautionary thing. They don't want to have a setback, and um, he's going to start as a starter. But that's, you know, nothing set in stone. Any, any three of these guys could be swapped out, you know, for someone behind them, or um, you know, linebacker these days is more fluid for the other guy. You know, one of these three is going to lose. We know that, but most likely it's going to be. Um, it won't, be, it won't be two out of three of them. All right. Um, Vontae Maddox definitely getting, you know, some time there. Like I said, he could be potentially the fourth safety. We'll see how, you know, he rakes out. But, you know, where do we have him as of now? Is he going to earn his stripes and um, be the starting slot corner? Or are we going to push him more to safety? I don't – I think I'll go, going more with the former than the latter, we'll see. Uh, Matt Hennessy, yeah, he's pushing for, you know, pushing Tyler Steen for that right guard spot. But – I think, you know, he's, a, he's probably our primary backup at left, center, and right guard. But, you know, it's to be seen. And Brett Toth, they're giving him another chance. He bombed last year at center. We'll see how he's, you know, he uh, is able to, uh, you know, grade out. But, um, you know, I'm not too promised. I don't have, you know, too much promise in him. But I don't believe in him too much. Anyways, 
Um, and Cooper everywhere, but you know, people say, oh, he's gonna be a safety. No, you don't get drafted that high, you know, by us to, to be a safety, you know, your, your corner. All right, um, the practice notes, Isaiah Rogers, he was everywhere. He picked off a ball, of, uh, they put the game time situation simulation, put them on the Eagles at their own five and, you know, pass intended for A.J. Brown, he picked it off and took it to the house. But, you know, he's been, you know, uh, making plays last week and this week as well. So I would definitely say he's in competition for that right cornerback spot across from Slate. And I'd love to see him out there, even though he's a buck 70, 5'10", 5'11". I think he can still come out there and compete. He ran a 4'27", so I mean, the guy's a baller. And Zach Mom picked up a pass, I think it was, you know, tipped by Devin White. And, uh, you know, he's making, he's making plays as well. Second play, um, practice in a row that he's made play that's been open to the public. So, um, for all of his, you know, um, the chagrin that he's gotten, the guy, you know, is an upgrade for us, you know, athletically speaking. And I think in certain situations, he has the right instincts and in others he doesn't. But, um, despite all his liabilities, if you put him in the middle of a talented defense, I think he'll shine. And I think, and then for me, you can say without a shadow of a doubt, this defense is more talented than the one he played with in Tampa. And that's, Overall, you know, all the guys you know, around him. So, um, we got Gardner picked off a pass by Kenny Pickett, underthrowing John Ross. Like, how do you underthrow John Ross, bro? He ran a 4 2 2 and he says he's feeling faster than ever um, now. So, give him more air on the ball because he, he was open. That's what, you know, they said. So, you, you can't make that mistake. So, I mean, hopefully, Kenny Pickett knows going forward and also maybe hope Jalen Hurst is noticing that, that. Hey, man, just put it out in front of this guy and he will go and get it. Trust and believe. All right, Sean Steph Stephens, the uh, under underrated, the undrafted guy off of, out of Fair State, I picked off Tanner McKee. So, I'd love to be him, to see him be the guy that starts in the slot next year um, when this time rolls, rolls around. Um, we'll see. Intended for Brenton Covey, you know he's not a rookie and he's not the best receiver, but still encouraging to see him doing that. All right, Keely Ringo nearly came up with the interception himself, running stride for stride with Paris Campbell. He runs a four three six and Paris runs a four three one. So. You know, it's good to see him in lockstep with that guy, but he couldn't finish the play. You know, he's got, he doesn't have the best hands and you know, didn't, didn't get his hand on a lot of balls in college, but um, it's encouraging to see that, you know, he, he is trying to uh, rectify that in the pros. Pickett had a bad uh, pass to Albert O in the flat. He was wide open, sit over his head. So the much uh, ballyhooed um, talk of him overtaking Jalen Hurts has been overblown. You can see that. So, yeah, we have... Um, New offensive coordinator and D coordinator, but you know we're running we're running a version of Vicky and Pinjo scheme, so it should be easier for the players to pick up. And Kellen Moore's offense is, is is super new, but I was encouraged to see you know hear all the motions and such you know, going back and forth with um, Paris Campbell motioning, um, and then they you know sent J, uh, AJ Brown down the field and he made a deep pass so that I can just distracting the defense just enough uh, to give them enough to look at overload their circuit boards, their motherboards, and you know for, to have us capitalize on that opportunity i'm saying too much anyways um edgy brown definitely looked unguardable during certain parts of the practice i think he had like nine or 14 receptions made by him when he was targeted um but yeah he john ross hopefully you know this is happy for him he making he's making some plays made a nice catch over the middle um plus that uh that target he had deep that was under thrown but yeah man um he he retired you know his son inspired him to come back you know um Saying he was the best part of his life, dug him out of a deep hole, you know, depression. And, you know, he was drafted ninth overall, so, you know, he definitely underwhelmed coming out of Washington. But um, he, he realized that, hey, he's not meant to be a guy sitting on the couch. And whether he sticks here or not, definitely I agree with the sentiment that he's a hard guy to root against. You know, you, you, you want to support him. And um, just such an honest guy and, and uh, just, you know, such a, a good guy. All right, Johnny Wilson made an amazing catch over the middle, and then he had a drop. You know, it's like, damn. He giveth and he taketh away. All right, Jordan Davis said, off that said he was way above 350 last year. So, I mean, giving um, credence to the rumors that he was out of shape. Brian Baldinger, Baldy, as he's officially called here, um, talked about it. You know, Jordan Davis didn't look right. And it's crazy. He probably was in the 370 range trying to, you know, um, run down, you know, guys and he was still was doing it, but you know he was skating by. He looks slim at 350 when he came into the league at 340. So I mean that just tells you he's putting on that muscle, staying off the Arizona T juice, as he calls it, and you know um, getting into good shape. Hopefully he stays in good shape and he's able to make the most because I mean he could have a breakout year. He has that talent. He has the requisite talent. 
all he needs to do is be consistent. So yeah, you don't have a punter um, competition this year. Did have guys standing back there: Britton Covey, Isaiah Rogers, Cooper Jean, and Nia Smith. And Anaya, uh, he he muffed one um, where he kind of stepped back, and it was too too uh, too deep for him. Pause. Um, but you know, having the competition out there, Britton Covey, his job is safe. But hey, man, competition brings out the best of us. Hey, new screen. Who you? Who this? All right, uh, let's gloss over some some more notes uh, from OTAs that you know we're able to glean. Um, just a few, not too many. So Devin White uh, deflected a short Jalen Hurts uh, pass. He was into a tight window. Um, he's get, he's being active, man. He's being active. So him in a short game, you know, people like saying, "Oh yeah, he's struggling pass coverage." Don't believe everything you hear. Comb through the film at least for yourself. Even if you have no idea what you're looking at, try and acclimate. Try to focus on one point at a time. What a guy's doing, his movements, what the guys around him doing, who is he supposed to be going up against, what is his opponents doing, and like how he's trying to get past him or how they're trying to protect against him. You break down those points of the game and you'll be able to slowly slowly acclimate yourself to an un level, some level of, of understanding. Not saying you'll you know um, be perfect at it, but it'll get you going in the right direction. Um, Kenny Pickett, like I said, he was up and down. You know, um, that's been a problem of his. And you know, one practice you know showing wasn't gonna prove disprove that but i do like the situation that he's in and he, he does as well he he switched me on that sentiment that he feels that philly's a better place for him to be um bryce up looking small and eh, you know it is what it is he's six one bro so cut that out let's see cooper g knocked down a short pass so he's in the quick game i'm worried about, i was worried about him being a slot guy because his quicks laterally aren't as good but you know um yeah, we'll see if he, you know, he can take the right angles. So he was good at and adept at doing that in college. So Jalen Hunt looking comfortable in coverage, and now he's lined up with the slot. So he's showing it, he's showing his versatility. But like I said, it won't be a twenty twenty four thing with him. It'll be twenty twenty five and moving forward. All right, EJ Jenkins maybe could snatch this uh, backup spot away from Grant Calcaterra, being the number three guy, making a contested catch and uh, skying over guys to get to a. a uh, Overthrown <laughs> Tanner McKee uh, misfire, but hey, I, I I wouldn't be opposed to it. But you know, uh, I think he'd have to show a lot to uh, dismount to displace uh, Grant Calcaterra. Terry and Price, David Davis Price. I keep fumbling his name, and he keeps fumbling the fucking job. So hey, it's a fit there. <laughs> um, and yes, Sean Stephens. He's showing that he he should be here, man, for a reason. All right, um, Jalen Hurts. Uh, much will be made about this practice, but you know, even besides the point, the fact you know that he's in a new offense, it's just the second practice that we're seeing, and who knows the ones that we're seeing, you know, could be juxtaposed, you know, to the other ones that you know are behind closed doors. And it's not that he's you know afraid to perform in the spotlight, but things are just new, new players around him. He's building a chemistry, hopefully with Paris Campbell that will last into the uh, into the regular season, but. Um, yeah, just, you know, the guys are back, you know, for, for the first time in a long time. And, you know, it's uh, it'll be some time before I think things fully click for everybody. So um, don't make too much about his two interception day. It happens. Uh, he was hot last year and then and then come um, and then, really, you know, wasn't able to show off those wares fully throughout the season because he was handicapped by the offense, particularly the coordinator who was running a offense that was never really a good fit for him to run if you feel what i'm saying but anyways we'll get a bite here on the note but hey you're not even watching but it's all good because i love talking about the eagles and i love making these stinking freaking videos about my team so we'll chunk this is officially but as always as always it's fly eagles fly and let's motherfucking go Thanks for watching. Check me out at Cintron, Cintron Anime, Cintron Life, or Cintron Laughs, or other social media.